Uh, James, speaking shortly after today's game against Edison Rovers, what are your thoughts on the performance? Uh, I thought we were quite good. Um, obviously, the boys are in there quite disappointed. Um, but there's plenty to fix up. Um, obviously, there were plenty of good signs in there, but I think it just shows how you know how tight how tight we are as a group that that we're quite disappointed with that. And if, but saying that as well, I think we've sent a bit, set a benchmark. Obviously, Feverson have invested heavily in the squad, and um, we want you know we want to compete with that. Um, so yeah, boys are disappointed, but I, I thought we had a real dig as well. And at the end of that first half, it went on for another twenty seconds. We could have been going in level when it was that close. Yeah, it was, mate. It was. And I think obviously it probably half time probably came at the wrong time for us. Um, I think Ferguson probably came out on top um, to start with, probably for a good 20, 25 minutes. But I thought we stuck in there for arm wrestle. Um, and and yeah, like you say, if, if they'd probably gone on over 20, 20 seconds or something, we probably could have gone in there, uh, gone in level there. So. And uh, for you, it was your hundredth career game. Um, happy to make that one, Mark. I am, mate. Yeah, it's probably been a long time coming. Um, I'm twenty eight now, so hundred games in twenty eight is not. It's not the best, obviously it's some achievement, um, but I, had, I did have a fair injury in 2019. But, you know, um, I'm feel, you know, I do feel lucky and privileged to, to, probably, to get to 100 games and long may that continue. And you're in defeat, albeit you did go for a try in front of a team you did play, you did play for a long time ago. Uh, yeah, I did, mate. So I signed the first personal contract at Feverson, so it's quite fitting that it probably was my 100 game and, and, and I did get over. So, um, But yeah, like I said, hopefully many more to come. You made a lot of them under appearances for Dewsbury Rams. We've got them next weekend. Um, what sort of test are you expecting there? Um, I'm not too sure, you know. Obviously, they had uh, they, they got got beat um, yesterday quite convincingly by Bradford, but um, obviously we'll look at review this week and, and look at preview on them and, and, and see what they did right and did wrong and, and look how we can break them down. But, um, yeah, it should, should be another good game. Like I said, they, got, they lost by quite a bit, so they're going to want to come here and, and you know try and turn us over. And it's the second game in three weeks in front of the night stands who packed out the stadium. What was it like playing for them? Oh, it's massive, mate. Um, like you've only got to look around at noise. I think the atmosphere, even with the Felberston fans, it, it was massive. Um, you know, it's it's on TV as well, and to come out on a Monday night like it is, it's still quite cold out there as well. So yeah, can't thank them enough.